Hey, it's Mike from DestinyGuitar.com, and today we'll be talking about the E major 7 chord. The E major 7 chord is essentially uh, taking a major chord and then we're adding a note onto it. That's what makes it a, a major 7. And so what would normally be a three note major chord uh, written in music actually becomes a four note chord, and so we've added a note on top. Now for the E major 7 chord, its first position uh, placement on the guitar, or what might be considered to be, I don't know, maybe the easiest way to play it, uh, I personally find a little bit awkward, and I uh, really never play the E major 7 chord here. I am going to show you how that works, because uh, it is what would be technically considered to be the easiest place uh, to play the major 7 chord, I, I suppose, but I have not used it in all my years of guitar playing. I find myself playing it two different ways, and I'll show you both of those. And so let's go to the close-up, and I'll show you exactly how to play the E major 7 chord in all three of these positions, so get ready. All right, so I promised, against my better judgment, I guess, to show you the E major 7 chord in its first position. And uh, it's closely related to the E major chord, which you're probably familiar with by now, that's, uh, that looks like this. It is a six string chord. Except what we need to do is add a note to it that's going to voice that seven. And the way that we do that is exactly like this. Take your third finger and place it on the second fret of the fifth string. Take your first finger now and place it on the first fret of the fourth string, so there it is. Okay, I'm just going to move my hand there so you can see it. And then take your second finger and place it on the first fret of the third string. So I'm going to move this finger out of the way and you'll see what I've done. I've taken these two fingers, placed them side by side on these two, two strings, and then I just reach over with this finger and I play that. And so here we have the E major 7 in its first position. Now, I find that with these major 7 chords, uh, sometimes, depending upon where you're fretting it on the neck, if you play this top note, it may ring out a little more bold than, uh, than some of the notes that you're playing here. And if you're not placing that 7 on top, it might get lost in the mix. And you'll find that that happens here in this first position. So listen to it. Maybe even just, you know, close your eyes and listen to what I'm playing. Uh, for just a moment, and here is the full six strings of playing this E major 7 chord in this way. And so what happens is, is you're missing out on this note, right here, which is that 7 that's being played, it's the D sharp. And so, in this position I recommend you don't play that top string that way, or even maybe even just the bottom four strings. So there you have it. Major seven chords typically are beautiful chords, and in this first position, that E major seven uh, doesn't necessarily ring true to the way a major seven should sound. Okay, just a note on theory. A major 7 chord is taking a 3 note major chord and it's adding a note on top and that makes it a 4 note chord. So if we were to play a major 7 chord uh, in this position with all of these notes, what we essentially end up happen having is a E and then a B and then we have our 7 which is our, our D sharp kind of buried in the mix here and then up here we have a G sharp and a B and then we could play this E on top if we wanted to and it would still technically be correct. Now if you're familiar with or if you've, if you've checked out our lesson on how to play a D major 7 then you'll know that that was, that was very easy to play in this first position. It was these four strings and so to play the E major 7 uh, in its second position, uh, what I'm going to suggest is that you try to just take this and instead play it with your third finger, fret, you know, bar these three, and move it up a whole step. 
This means now you need to have an E on the bottom, and so we're going to take our first finger and we're going to play it on the second fret of the fourth string. And so this four string chord right here is an E major seven. Now that sounds a little more like it. That sounds uh, a lot more, a lot prettier, I would say. A lot more of what I would expect out of a major seven chord. It's not exactly the easiest chord to play because you are barring three strings with this finger. But, uh, but if you've been practicing some of your barring and, and, and you know, the chords in other positions, then I think you'll be able to do it. So there you have it. There is the E major 7 in its second position. And now finally, our third position is going to be a movable chord shape that if you've been checking out some of our other videos on the major 7, you'll be very familiar with right now. And it is this A major 7 movable chord shape. But guess what? We need to take it way up the neck. It's going to go all the way to the seventh fret. So this seventh fret on the fifth string is an E. Then we take our third finger and we play the ninth fret. Boy, it sounds kind of scary, doesn't it? Getting up this high up the neck. But it is just a movable shape, so you should be able to pull it off. And the frets do get a little closer together the higher up the neck you go, which makes some of these chords even easier to play. So we'll take our third finger and place it on the ninth fret of the fourth string. And then we'll take our second finger, place it on the eighth fret of the third string. And you take your fourth finger here and place it on the ninth fret of the second string. And it's these four strings right here that we're playing. Now, because it is an E, I could do two things. I could, if I wanted, play this open E and have another E on the top, so I'd only fret these four and play this open. I don't particularly care for that sound. I like the sound of these four here, because then that seven really dominates the voicing. But then I do have another option, and it is to actually take this finger and bar right up top here the B note. That is a perfectly acceptable way to play the E major 7 chord. All right, so no matter where you play it, whether it's in that first, second, or third position, and you know, there, there are other positions even still to play the chord on the neck, but uh, no matter which one you choose, uh, just make sure that it fits into that chord progression that you're playing. Uh, really, the reason why you'd want to play that major 7 up here is if you are playing a chord progression that calls for your hand to be up high on the neck. Your other option, of course, is to play it down here if it works with the transitioning that you're doing. I will say something about this E major 7 chord if you're planning to play it in this first position, and it is that you can easily substitute an E major chord for an E major 7. In other words, if you've got your music or your lead sheet and it calls out for an E major 7 chord, and you know, you don't really feel like playing it, or it's maybe something that will be a little awkward to get to in the chord progression that you're playing. You know, I'll be just open, I often substitute uh, chords that are easier for me to play in the progression if I'm standing in front of a group of people uh, playing, and I want to have smooth transitions, and I also don't want to be thinking about where my hand is going if I'm concerned about some other things, such as other musicians that I'm playing with, or, or where we're going with the song, or, uh, or what's happening in the, uh, in the concert or the meeting that I'm at. All right, so you can substitute the E major for the E major seven if you'd like, uh, but either way, just make sure you practice because practicing at least five minutes a day is gonna get you, uh, it's gonna get you far in as little as 30 days, even if you're just starting out on the guitar. So don't give up, hang in there and play a lot of major seven chords because they're cool. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next time at destinyguitar.com.